Hey YouTube, happy Sunday. It's Kevin here, West Virginia Piper. And I'm smoking my uh, Rick Black that I won the first time with some uh, Piper's Pleasure in there. Uh, it's real good, real good, real good tobacco. And this pipe is real nice, it smokes really nicely um, so far. I'm sure it can't get any worse, it can only get better, right? So, as you might be able to see there, I got the uh, the old Weber kettle going. Those coals are burning up. I apologize for the that glare you see right there. I just, uh, I don't know what's up. I just don't feel like turning my whole table around and everything. Ricard, I'm going to bring you my mid-year top five. That's right. Now, I've only been smoking uh, pipe since uh, late December, early January, and for about the first month or so, I've only I only smoked Lane One Q because that's all I had, and I only had one pipe, and uh, I didn't want to mix English aromatic whatnot. So it's really all I smoked for the first time for the first month or so. And uh, so I would estimate that in the uh, six months or so, I've been smoking five months. Uh, probably I've tried maybe 30 blends. Not sure. I, I could be overestimating, but that sounds about right. And um, so my top five of mid year is pretty much my top five of ever as a pipe smoker. So. Um, it was kind of tough because I really haven't had too many tobaccos that I didn't like. Um, probably like the I just recently smoked that Gettysburg from Old Virginia Tobacco Company. It wasn't terrible, but it's just not my cup of tea. And uh, Cupcake from Boswell. Um, I, I hear lots of raves about it, but for me, it was really not not a good aromatic. Um, so, well, everybody's case is different, so my top five, you might agree with some, you might not at all. Um, so anyway, down to business, uh, doing a top five, as everyone says, is a difficult proposition um, because there's just so many good ones, and to just narrow it down and, and try, to, try to rank them is tough because, you know, you might be in a different mood for a different type of tobacco on any given day, so... Um, it was tough, but I managed to uh, actually get it down to five. Um, I will make a few uh, honorable mentions, though. Uh, my aromatic honorable mention is uh, Boswell's uh, Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. Um, and I got into smoking and was reading lots of things about cherry aromatics and how they were horribly bitey and most of them tasted like chemicals um, so I was kinda wary about trying trying this blend at first um, but when I looked up some reviews about it uh, it was really a, a, a recommendation by a lot of people for a no bite natural as natural as can be tasting cherry flavored aromatics so on my first trip to Boswell's I went ahead and bought some and I was absolutely, I was not disappointed. Um, it was uh, exactly what, um, as it was reviewed, had a nice faint cherry flavor. It's got, I think, a little bit of chocolate in there too, caramely. Uh, just a really nice, um, no bite tobacco. Hmm. Okay, so my non aromatic honorable mention. Um, I've got I've got two really. Um, sorry, guys. Um, the first one is um, Medium Virginia Flake by Samuel Goweth. Um, that's just a, a real great anytime Virginia that uh, you can smoke. I think it's a vapor actually. No, it's straight. Um, I correct myself. It's a straight Virginia Flake. It's uh, 
I just love the appearance of it. I love the way it uh, it's, it stuffs well into my pipe. Um, it burns really nicely. Um, I've never had problems with it. It's it doesn't. It's not too strong. It's pretty middle of the road. Uh, you know that's why it's medium Virginia. I guess the full Virginia flake I've never had before, but um, I'm not into high nicotine uh, tobaccos. So uh, it's it really just kind of gets down the middle of that road, so to speak. And um, I like it. And the my other one is um, Pembroke, which is uh, really it's the only esoterica blend I've had, but um, you can tell you're smoking something special with that. And uh, apparently it's uh, Margate, which is one of their English blends that's cased with, uh, uh, I want to say it's cognac. And uh, it's very lightly done. Uh, the cognac flavors are great, and the English comes out really well. Um, it balances well. It doesn't overdo it with the flavoring. And so, didn't quite make my top five, but it's definitely a uh, an honorable mention for me. So, well, that being said, I did go ahead and buy eight ounces of Margate. I just haven't opened it yet. Um, so, now that we got those out of the way, let's get to the top five. Mm -hmm. And so, my number five for me is uh, is this guy right here. This is Presbyterian Mixture. Um, I had heard about this early in my research for pipe smoking. It's something that came up uh, frequently. Um, there's something special about it. It's got kind of a, uh, a unique sourness to it, especially in the tin note. And it does carry over slightly into the taste. Um, but it's a, it's a really nice... Um, mild English blend and I just really enjoy it so uh, yeah, Presbyterian mixture and it's great straight but lately I've been uh, mixing it with BCA and it really makes a nice uh, smoky sweet combination and it's something I'm really enjoying right now alrighty so number four is actually I don't have any to show you but it's a uh, trout stream from uh, Pipes and Cigars, and I first purchased that as a, uh, they were running a special, and I bought a pound of it just on the reviews alone. I had never tried it before, and so I just took a shot in the dark and hoped it would be as good as people said it was, and it was way better than that, way more than I expected. The uh, it's just for me, a, it's the right flavors and for my taste and just a perfectly balanced aromatic. It doesn't have too much or too little of the uh, the flavoring and just the tobacco is blended really well. Uh, you can tell I'm not a very technical guy. I don't know a whole lot about tobacco, so I'm just taking shots in the dark here. But but from my experience, it's, uh, it's the perfect aromatic. Okay, so that was four. We're going for number three. And this is a new tobacco, and uh, I was really looking forward to this when I heard about it. And uh, it's this guy right here, McBaron Latakia Flake. Uh, I've been smoking a lot of this lately, and it it was hyped a little bit. I don't. It's not really getting a lot of. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of reviews about it. Uh, not a lot of YouTube videos. I don't think a lot of you are uh, trying this yet. But um, the reviews that it does get are all top-notch, five-star reviews. And uh, you try this and you'll know why. Um, now, it's been compared to a few other t uh, blends out there. It's been called uh, Old Dark Fired with Latakia. Uh, I can't make that comparison because I haven't tried Old Dark Fired yet. Um, but if it's anything like this, I think I will like it very much. Um, it's also been called a... Uh, kind of a replacement for uh, Penzance for those who can't get their hands on it. This is kind of a, you know, stepbrother to it. And if it is, I can, I'm really going to like Penzance when I do get some. Um, but yeah, there's just everything about it is great. It's, uh, 
the tin note is awesome. Uh, the, it's a little moist, but once you dry it out a little bit and get it going, it, it really has that Virginia sweetness really shines through, and the Latakia just really balances out, and it doesn't uh, doesn't overpower it, which is what, uh, I, from the name Latakia Flake, I would have expected the Latakia to be absolutely, like, knock you out, but it's just there. It, I mean, it's obviously the prominent flavor, but it's not overbearing, and uh, that's why I like it so much. <clears throat> okay, so, number... Two. This is uh, the. F I don't have a. You can see that. And that is the Luxury Bullseye Flake by uh, Stok Peter Stokeby. And that is the first uh, Virginia of any kind that I smoked, Virginia uh, Flake type tobacco that I ever tried. And it's still my favorite. Uh, I've only tried a few others, but this is really something that uh, there's, there's nothing bad you can say about it. It's got, uh, the, first of all, it's cool as hell, the, the discs. Um, it, it's just, uh, it's tough to keep lit at first when you, if you're not used to uh, working with flakes. Um, I do like to fold and stuff. I feel like if you rubbed it out, you kind of lose a little bit. But the little dot of Cavendish in the center of that um, just really makes it smoke, and it's a really, it's kind of special when you get that hit. It's like a little bonus, you know, when it when you get uh, down to the Cavendish and it starts burning. You taste that little bit of sweetness from it, uh, on top of the natural sweetness from the Virginias that that are in there. Uh, so if you haven't tried it get it it's awesome and uh, so my number one and uh, ugh, yeah, I don't want to drop my pipe there we go number one tobacco for me 2014 mid-year hello Dunhill early morning pipe that's right boring huh kind of middle of the road you know is there anything special about this? Well, yeah, for me, it's the first English blend I ever tried. My first non-aromatic I ever tried. Um, and it is just right up my alley. It uh, It's really nice and mild, so you can smoke it anytime. And it is my go-to pretty much everyday smoke. Um, it doesn't have to be smoked in the morning, guys. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's just... When I t uh, first tasted it, I knew it was something special. I knew it was something that I could really uh, enjoy anytime. Uh, it's just a, the flavors are perfectly married. Um, it's got just enough of everything in the right balance uh, to really make it just something that can be enjoyed by anyone anytime. And it's uh, and it's also it's just got this just a special holds a special place for me. Uh, so, early morning pipe, number one. So there you have it, guys. I know it was long and drawn out. I'm sorry. I did my best to describe everything the best I could. Uh, but it is what it is. Sorry. I tend to ramble a lot. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to refill my pipe and uh, keep breaking in my Rick Black. Again, thank you, Rick, for making this nice pipe. And uh, thank you all for subscribing and watching. And uh, I hope you all go out and try some of these if you haven't already. They're worth it. And uh, get your top fives out there. I'd love to see it, and, I can't, and I'm looking forward to it. And keep watching for my contest, guys. I promise I'll get it up real soon. Um, the hundred sub contest. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm not going to make you jump through hoops. It'll probably be, like I said, a video response. Uh, I just uh, I'm trying to rack my brain for, you know, what I want in the videos. Um, I just can't think of anything clever. So we'll see what I come up with. And I uh, hope you all watch and look forward to giving stuff away. So anyway, I'm rambling again. Uh, have a great Sunday night. Have a good week. And uh, until next time, take care, guys.